My name is Dr. Ronald J. Fairbaugh. I'm a chiropractic physician here in Columbus, Ohio. Our office focuses primarily on the treatment of chronic and difficult cases, lower back pain, leg pain, neck pain, and headaches, using state-of-the-art evidence-based technology, including common technology that most patients are familiar with in a chiropractic office, but also other technology like spinal decompression therapy that's very specialized uh, for the treatment of disc injuries and chronic and severe lower back pain in an effort to avoid that unnecessary surgery. There are a lot of causes for back pain, but there are two primary causes. One is this disc out front, and whether it's a bulge disc, a herniated disc, protruded disc, all terms you might have heard about, uh, the disc itself irritates or compresses that little tiny nerve root. That nerve root goes to your spine, goes down to your leg. That's the number one cause of disability in our country. The other cause of back pain are these little tiny joints in the spine called facet joints. Those joints are the ones that when your back pops or snaps, that's what you're hearing, those little joints snapping or popping. Well, unfortunately, those nerve roots are sandwiched between that disc and those joints. So it almost doesn't matter whether it's a disc problem or a facet joint problem, you can irritate those nerve roots. On July 11, 2011, I ruptured the disc in between my L5 and S1 vertebrae. It was very painful. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'd rank it as a 9, and I'm going to save 10 for being knifed or shot. The doctor told me that I had the largest herniated disc he had ever seen and that he could not fix me and he would, um, I would probably never walk again and it was something I was going to have to learn to deal with. I had a lot of lower back problems and it got to the point where I could not walk, I could not sit down for a very long time and I was referred to him by another chiropractor that thought that uh, decompression was an option um, to solve my issue. When we started using spinal decompression therapy about 10 years ago, and I gotta tell you, there's nothing in my 30 years of practice that has made more of a difference to my patients than spinal decompression therapy. Those patients that are thinking about having a surgery, in the past, if I wasn't getting good results, I sent them to their medical physician, they didn't get good results, our only option really was sending them to a surgeon. Now, believe it or not, with spinal decompression therapy, nine out of 10 patients we now do not have to send to a surgeon. Nine out of 10 patients get exceptionally good results with spinal decompression therapy. For me, there was no pain after four treatments. I began treatment on Monday, July 11th, and on Thursday, I, I wasn't taking any of the pain medication. There was no more Vicodin at that point. So I was thrilled. The decompression therapy, it, it took a few sessions to really start to feel it, to have it um, react fully. I believe I did 30 sessions of it over about a three to four month period. Um, but once I was finished with that, um, I've been able to walk, stand up straight again, um, and now I've been um, running with friends. I've ran over 10 miles multiple times. I golf on a regular basis. I could never thank him enough. He, he really gave me back my life, um, my ability to take care of my family. Um, if it wasn't for him, I, I probably would be in a wheelchair. I would highly recommend Dr. Fairbaugh. He's a healer in the truest sense of the word. 